See, Josh, I think by really emphasizing how false this was, this goes directly, I think, to the punitive damages, which there could be no cap in Connecticut, right? Absolutely. And, that, and you're absolutely right. That's what this is going towards. He, this is actually some of the best um, cross or examination that I've seen. It's not even so cross. Far. It's direct. It, it looks like right. cross. Right. Because he's 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 putting it in front of the jurors. Here's the false. Here's the false claim. And here's the advertising right next to it. You guys knew this was false. You're profiting off of it. The only criticism I would say at this point is that we've been doing this for days. This is going on for mm. hours reaching a point of diminishing returns with the jury they you need to make these points make them strong and then kind of get out because you don't last thing you want to do is make very powerful points and then lose your jurors because you're taking too long with the witness yeah you don't want jurors looking at that clock you want them really focused on what's happening and as i said she's been on the stand since yesterday morning